Okay, well, I had some success with this uh, PLA Sterling engine where I'm making the parts out of this uh, 3D printed low temp melt plastic. And then the cookie, uh, it's a Christmas cookie tin. This is the bottom of it here. And that's the top. There's two tops of, of the thing with the PLA uh, frame there. And then it's just taped on. I haven't glued it uh, yet. Everything's just taped together. It's not permanent, but I finally got this thing to work. I had to work on it a long time to get it to work. And this is the the uh, candle warmer that is, uh, I guess, 130 or so, 130 degrees Fahrenheit uh, versus um, ice. Now, that's just water. Now, it's all melted. It's been running about 20 minutes. It's melted down to just cool water, but uh, I did finally get it to work very difficult. I had to um, play around the displacers on it. This was the first displacer that melted, believe it or not. It was the wrong kind of plastic. And then I finally went back to using this stuff. This is sponge, a type of scrubber sponge. You put that at the top like the regenerator. This is at the bottom. And then you have to let it hit the bottom for this to work. Um, I don't know why, but that's just the way my motors work. Those are the other two. This was the other a uh, Christmas cookie tin that I made uh, a number of years ago that was very successful. But you see, it's all metal here. So the heat just comes right up the middle. So it was hard to keep the temperature differential. Same thing with the one I made last year. This was a little candle tin. And there's no temperature differential here. So it, it just gets hot unless you put ice here and uh, heat down there all the time. So when I did the, this thing here with the PLA plastic, the... Um, um, PLA plastic um, it does get soft but it doesn't seem to melt with this uh, candle warmer and like I say I think the candle warmer is probably 130 140 maybe and the PLA gets soft at that temperature but it doesn't melt and it was staying together long enough to get this sterling engine to work and um, this part goes up and down like this and then this part here is the power piston that as the hot air comes up uh, and it's cooled, you get a power stroke out of it. And these have to be just right. And you can see how weird I got this all bent up here. This isn't very good the way this is done. Terrible bearings the whole bit. But I got it to work. So I thought I'd give you guys an update that I was able to get a uh, PLA plastic um, parts on a sterling engine this is still has to be metal this has to be metal because of the temperature you, you can't use pla on both sides or it has to be a metal on one side or metal on the other side to get the heat and then transfer the heat to the chamber uh, the chamber uh, flexes up and down some which is not good either so i really need to structure this so that it doesn't flex up and down because these um, tins are real thin and they flex so I may have to rethink that. But anyway, that's the little uh, um, low temperature differential Sterling engine that I've been thinking about building for a long time using a candle warmer. Thanks for watching.